Well, today I'm going to talk about early pregnancy diagnosis in the cow herd and also with replacement heifers as a management and marketing tool that we can use to our advantage. First, let's just talk about what are some of the advantages of early pregnancy diagnosis in beef cows and in replacement heifers. First, it's the opportunity to identify those non-productive heifers in cows, uh, those that are not pregnant, and remove them from the herd, saving us both some feed and expenses related to that. The other is market seasonality, and we're going to talk about a little more with that. There's definitely some market seasonality that we want to be aware of and how we can use that information to our advantage in terms of marketing both open cows and uh, replacement heifers. And then also just thinking about marketing opportunities and options for not only open animals, but for those that are maybe pregnant later than it would be traditional for our calving season, and how we might sell those to someone else and capture some more value from them. There are three options available to us as we think about the cow herd and replacement heifers in utilizing early pregnancy diagnosis. Uh, the first available to us is the one that's most traditional, and that's pregnancy testing utilizing palpation. Uh, this can be done as early as 35 to 45 days by an experienced veterinarian or technician. The second option available is ultrasound, which we can utilize 30 days post-breeding, and that's when we utilize that transducer uh, go in rectally and identify the pregnancy by using ultrasound waves. The third is blood test or bioprene. This looks for pregnancy-associated proteins that are pregnant, cow has present in her body, as well as a replacement heifer. Uh, that protein is actually emitted uh, from the junction of where the uterine wall and the uh, placenta join there. And those that's another tool that's been developed uh, fairly recently within the last several years, but is being seen uh, utilized more within the industry today. Some advantages of pregnancy testing utilizing palpation. As I mentioned, we can pick up a pregnancy as early as 35 days, but I think it's realistic to realize in many cases it's probably going to be 50 to 60 days for many technicians to really be able to accurately identify pregnancy. We do know the results immediately, so we can make some uh, sorting off the chute, which is an uh, advantage of knowing that information right away probably going to cost a little bit less than ultrasound wheel, probably around $5 per head, maybe a little more, a little less, depending upon the number of cows you have and the technician you use. There is no special equipment needed. Really, you just need the technician there to be able to do that pregnancy diagnosis. I do think trust but verify. This is a quote from Ronald Reagan, but I think it fits here. Realizing that when we have those cows pregnancy tested, uh, depending upon when we pulled those bulls, some of those cows could be early in their pregnancy but not far enough along to be identified by palpation. And so I think it's uh, worth the time and expense to consider having those cows rechecked, uh, utilizing a tool like ultrasound or utilizing a tool like bioprene, getting a blood test on those open cows. And that really can help us make sure that those cows are indeed open. Uh, there's not many more expensive things than identifying a cow as open when she's indeed pregnant. So we just want to be sure that uh, we're looking at identifying those cows that are indeed pregnant and those that are open. And again, palpation is an advantage to us in terms of utilizing that as a pregnancy diagnosis tool. Some disadvantages with palpation. We can't identify pregnancy as early as we can with utilizing ultrasound or blood testing. Again, scheduling that veterinarian or technician to do the job. There is a, more and more of a shortage of large animal veterinarians within the United States now. And there are some parts of the country where it's just very difficult to find somebody who's qualified to do that. And so it can be a challenge to get that done. As I mentioned before, it does require those pregnancies in many cases to be at least 50 to 60 days to be identified by palpation. And then there is the risk of uh, causing potentially some abortions. Again, depending upon how far along those pregnancies are, depending on how um, maybe gentle the technician is, uh, when they do that pregnancy diagnosis, we can lose some pregnancies uh, utilizing palpation for a pregnancy toe diagnosis. The advantages of ultrasound is we can pick up a pregnancy as early as 28 days uh, post-breeding, and so a little earlier than we could with utilizing palpation. We can sort those cows based on the age of the calf. We can uh, age that calf based on its size using ultrasound. Calves can be sexed, so we can determine whether there's those cows are going to be having heifers or bull calves, depending upon the age of that fetus. So there is a window there when those fetuses need to be ultrasound to identify sex. 
We can pick up twins, and so that can be a management tool that's to our advantage. If we have a cow herd where we have a high propensity for twins, knowing which cows are going to have twins, we can then manage those cows differently, have them up close, maybe feeding them extra prior to calving, and then hopefully save more of those calves as we tend to have more dystocia issues with twins than we do with single pregnancies. It is going to be less invasive than the palpation method as that transducer is just laid over the uterus there rectally and we're not really doing any um, manipulation of that pregnancy or touching of it uh, when we're using that transducer. And then also the advantage of knowing that results immediately. So we can sort those cows off the chute, uh, sort those cows into expected calving groupings uh, based on age of pregnancies. Just provides a lot of information and is probably the most informative early pregnancy diagnosis tool that we have available to us. Some disadvantages of utilizing ultrasound is one is cost. It is going to cost more than palpation will. Uh, second, it's going to require an ultrasound technician who has the equipment and the skills to do the job. And then as I've mentioned before with palpation, scheduling that and getting it done during a time of year when we want it done and getting it done in a timely way uh, may be a challenge as well. The third tool available to us with early pregnancy diagnosis is the bioprene test or blood testing. In this case, the rancher himself can pull the blood sample and then send it in to have that uh, test utilized to determine whether the cow is pregnant or not. It's going to probably be less expensive than utilizing palpation or ultrasound. It allows us to identify pregnancy as early as 30 days, really, uh, maybe even a little bit earlier than that, but 30 days is kind of the threshold they uh, recommend. It's going to be less invasive than either palpation or ultrasound. Again, we're just pulling a blood sample on the cow, and so we're not uh, doing anything rectally that's even um, no physical manipulation of that pregnancy at all. It's going to allow us some flexibility to pull blood over a number of days. We can pull those blood samples, store them, and send them in together. So I can conceive of situations where maybe we have several groups of cows that we want a pregnancy uh, diagnose over a week's time period where we're going to work those cows. And so we can pull those blood samples over several days and then send them in as a group and then get the results back. This is, test is 99% accurate in identifying open cows. And so if it calls them open, it's uh, pretty confident then that that cow is indeed open. This advantage, it does require time to pull the blood. And if you aren't familiar with that, uh, it does take some experience to get more comfortable in doing that. The real negative for this test is the turnaround time. Um, we're bringing those cows through. We're going to be pulling the sample for the blood, but then we're not going to have a result in terms of knowing whether that cow is pregnant or not for probably two to four days, depending upon the time of the week you send that sample off and when the labs open. So the turnaround time is the real negative for this test. It is 99%, again, as I said earlier, uh, accurate in terms of identifying open cows and about 95% accurate in identifying pregnant cows. They will say, well, why is it only 95% accurate in identifying open cows? Well, if we are pregnancy uh, testing cows very early in their pregnancy, say in that 30 to 40, 45 day area, uh, that's also a time period when we're more likely to have early embryonic loss. And so uh, it may call a cow pregnant when we've had some early embryonic loss and she may actually be reabsorbing that fetus and we may not know it. And so that's why it's only 95% accurate there. Cows do need to be at least 90 days post-calving or some false positives may occur with this test. Again, this test is looking for uh, pregnancy-associated proteins. And so if that cow uh, was a late calver last year and we early pregnancy test this year, there is the potential that that cow may not be 90 days post-calving. And so we could pick up a false positive there. The other disadvantage of uh, utilizing blood testing or bioprene uh, to identify pregnancy is really it's a yes or no test. It calls that cow pregnant or calls her open. It doesn't give us any information around how far along that cow is or uh, whether she's early in her pregnancy or really far along, so she's going to be an earlier calver. It doesn't provide us information around the sex of that calf, which we can get with the use of a tool like ultrasound. This is just a website that shows more about the pregnancy testing Utilizing bioprene, again, this is the test that looks for protein associated with pregnancy. And so if you're not familiar with this test, uh, you can go do some more reading on that. 
There's also some videos available if you're not comfortable or have never tail bled a cow before. Um, some how-to videos on how to do that if you're looking at utilizing this as a tool within your herd. So which method is really best to use? And I think it really comes down to what do you have available to you in terms of resources. Do you have a good veterinarian who's really accurate with palpation that you're comfortable with? Uh, or do you have someone that has ultrasound experience and you want to use that information uh, in a management scheme that will really return some dollars to you? So I think those are all things to take into account. Really, it comes down to economics in terms of which method is going to provide you with the greatest return to your dollar invested with that information. And I can conceive of situations where actually a combination of methods may be the most time and cost effective. For example, let's say we have a traditional 60-day uh, breeding season. We pull those bulls and then 30 days later bring those cows in to do some pregnancy diagnosis. We might want to use a combination of palpation and blood testing. A lot of those cows obviously uh, are going to be 90 days from the time when we turn the bull in. So we're going to have a lot of cows that are anywhere from 60 to 90 days pregnant. And then we're going to have a segment of cows that are only 30 to 60 days pregnant. And so palpation will easily identify those cows that are 60 to 90 days pregnant, but may not pick up some of those cows that are in that 30 to 60 day window. So we may palpate those cows, identify those cows that we can easily identify pregnancy with palpation. And then those other cows go ahead, put them in a separate group, pull a blood sample on those at that time, and then look for those cows uh, that may be in fact pregnant, but we couldn't pick up with a palpation type pregnancy diagnosis. Another thing that producers may want to do is use one method for cows and another method for heifers. So on replacement heifers, obviously they don't have a calf at side, so anytime we can identify those as pregnant, uh, sometimes the earlier the better is probably to our advantage. And so we might use a tool like Bioprene with our replacement heifers, identify those heifers early that are pregnant, and then those that are open we can sell into a, as a feeder, and then those cows we might use something like palpation. We want to leave the calves on the cows. We don't want to early wean. And so we're going to pregnancy test those cows maybe prior going to corn stalks and maybe going to actually take those cows to corn stalks, those open cows, add some weight to those, maybe then sell those after the first of the year when historically prices have come back. Speaking of cold cow prices, this is just uh, some information showing, showing some historic market averages. Uh, this is from the cattlemarketanalysis.org website that's uh, put together by Dylan Faiths at Utah State. But you can see the black line here shows the last five years in, in terms of historic cold cow prices. We tend to see those cold cow prices be uh, at their peak in that late May, June time period, then kind of fall down a little bit in the June through August time pain. And then from August through November, we tend to see some significant price slide. As we look at this chart, we can see kind of what prices have done last year and then what they're doing this year. As we look at long-term averages, it's been to our advantage historically if we can market cows in that late May through August time frame if we're thinking about selling cold cows from a market price standpoint. And so if we can early pregnancy diagnose, pick up those cows that are pregnant early and then identify those cows that are open, if we can sell those open cows prior to we see this price slide, in from that August through October, November time frame, that's to our advantage. So again, what are some economic advantages to early pregnancy diagnosis? Marketing, and we've already talked about that. Selling cows or heifers uh, seasonally when market prices tend to be higher. Uh, feed savings, feed is gonna be a premium again this year in many parts of the country. And so anything we can do to remove those non-productive animals from the herd allows us to save those feed save that feed from those animals that are going to raise a calf for us. Identifying those late calving cows, uh, utilizing either palpation or ultrasound, allows us to think about um, marketing those late calving cows into a market then that uh, maybe don't fit our calving season but might fit for someone else and capture some value from those cows as opposed to selling them as open. And then also depending upon the length of our calving season, we can sort those cows into calving groups and maybe we'll feed them differently based on whether they're going to be early calvers or later calvers and have some feed savings associated with that. So in conclusion, thinking about early pregnancy diagnosis, uh, really this is a tool that we can utilize to sort market cattle to their best and highest value and also allow us to use that information to maybe strategically 
manage cows in terms of when we give them inputs. Then finally, a use of a combination of these tools may actually be the best approach from a management standpoint as we think about the whole cow herd and also replacement heifers. With that, if you have any questions about the information presented today, please feel free to contact me either by email or by phone. And I'd be happy to visit with you about how this tool might be implemented within your management system.